my husband wanted to take the kids out for a walk and it was a beautiful day out and I'm, I, I remember walking down I'm like I can't even walk after a few steps like it was really hard for me to walk this is the only way I can explain it I feel just a shift happen in my chest And so the air is just pressuring, pushing down on, on the actual lung, like the balloon that's being pushed down. We treated her for that, and it, she initially did very well. What made her case a little bit unusual was that she came back with another one. That only happens less than 5% of the time. understand what it is in my life that's different that could have caused this you know I went through many rounds of IVF I pumped myself up with hormones is there some kind of connection with that and that's when he brought up catamenial pneumothorax she did not have a diagnosis of endometriosis at the time but it was really the only disease that linked the two It's a disease of menstruation that's characterized by very painful period, fertility issues, and over the years, decreasing quality of life. These patients typically are undiagnosed, misdiagnosed. I started a chart and go back and look. Every time I would go to an ER or the urgent care or an x-ray, it was either around the time I was ovulating or going through my period. It was a five-hour one to determine if there was endometriosis and also to obviously to fix the lung. Traditionally, the surgeries would be done separately because they're in different body cavities. But it, you know, since we both operate minimally invasively with very small incisions, it just made sense to do them at the same time. I take pride that at Lenexil, we are doing that. It's a multidisciplinary. Uh, approach to a multi-organ disease. Dr. Sachkin will get started, he'll look in your abdomen if there's anything on the diaphragm, then I'll look in the chest at the same time. We were able to make the diagnosis of endometriosis. The endometriosis did meet the diaphragm which Dr. Patton was able to remove and again that just solidified the catamenial pneumothorax. I don't think it's as rare. You're exactly right. Yeah. So now that she has the endometriosis treated, she should not have another collapsed lung ever again. It stole two years of my life with my kids because I was never present. Um, I don't even know how I maintained a job. I can now start to pick my kids up again, be present. Be a wife and be a human being and not just be broken. I was broken. Well, Zara was the icebreaker again that connected two departments. They only have to come into the hospital once. They get anesthesia once. And if I remember right, she was only in the hospital two or three days um, after the surgery. The past six months, it's just been really healing, really trying to take time for myself. I think there was a period of four weeks, five weeks, where I didn't see any doctors, and I didn't think about it, and it was like heaven. I just want the simplicity of life back. It hasn't been simple. All of her x-rays have shown that her lung has been completely expanded with no evidence of uh, air. So uh, it should be a permanent solution. So I will forever be indebted. I think, you know, this is still an unknown that needs to have more information on it, and there needs to be an understanding um, between the doctors to work together in this capacity and I, I'm thrilled to see that Patton and Sechkin are.